Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this is a brief announcement, uh, just stating that I'm back and I'm going to be trying to upload videos uh, more regularly. I want to say thank you to those of you who've remained subscribed and those of you who are so patient and loyal. I, I want to thank you for all your well wishes as well. And I would like to just talk a bit about the energy today, as in, in an energy forecast. But I also wanted to just um, say that uh, I'm going to change the format a little bit of the of these videos that I put out. So in future, I won't be doing weekly oracle card guidance. I'll be doing a monthly or oracle card guidance, uh, a little bit more detailed and um, and a bit longer. And that way, you could have. Um, a bit of guidance for each week in the month. And uh, I have promised previously to upload political commentaries from a psychic perspective, but I've decided to uh, do away with that idea for the moment. I might bring that up a bit later. And uh, I also talked briefly about uh, setting up a channel on Rumble due to censorship on YouTube, but uh, I've decided to also pause that as well. So at the moment, I just want to come back and do some monthly oracle card uh, readings, as well as um, I would like to keep the energy forecast and um, and then start doing some more pick a card readings because I know that's what the audience here really appreciates. And um, I just want to apologize for not being able to do those alternate readings like with the runes and the I Ching, etc. I, th I think since the end of 2019, things just got really hectic and busy in terms of my work. And um, I've also had um, a change of pace in terms of our lives. So it's just become quite hard for me to be able to maintain the regular uh, videos on the channel and uh, I really needed to think about, you know, where I go with it. Having said that, it's still in a process of development. And uh, I just wanted to mention that I will be online more regularly. And you will be hearing a lot more from me once again. And thank you for everything uh, until now. And it's really a pleasure to be there. I'm going to continue with this video. And I'm going to talk about the energy that we're having. I'd also like to apologize for some problems in the audio if you encounter those and uh, I hope that you enjoy the video. All right, I wish you all many blessings and much love uh, to you all. The energy that we've had this year has been incredibly turbulent in terms of very sharp endings and beginnings and what you might find is that there's a lot of rebirth or birthing or um, uh, perhaps purchase of um, expensive items or needing to shift one's life, needing to move or uh, welcoming a new member into the family, having to have major surgeries to uh, go through quite a lot of um, deep, deep change in terms of perhaps losing someone or perhaps losing a home or just having to, to deal with all of those type of things, as well as dealing with the current economic uh, crisis, as well as uh, some of the world events that are taking place. This equinox is, um, is, is actually beginning a new phase. It's beginning a new energy that's coming through. And so what we can say is that we can lay some of the hectic energy to rest that has been there in the past, that has been um, kind of following us around for the last six months more intensely, as well as following us around for about two and a half years quite intensely. What we're going to find is that there's a stepping up in a way of um, of this energy. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, basically, you're going to find that some of you find quite a lot of relief now as this energy shifts. And as we go into October, you're going to find that Things become a lot lighter. Things start moving ahead. If you've not been in a relationship and you've been struggling to, to find one or to be with someone, you're going to find that you most likely will meet this person between October and March next year. There's going to be a lot of meetings of soulmates and tribe people in your life where you can feel that kindredship is, is what I mean. You could just feel that warmth and that 
being held or being enclosed by that loving warmth. So there's that energy that's coming in. This is if you're open to it, you're going to find that love is likely to come into your life. If you are in relationships already, you might be able to work with your relationship so you enter a new phase of it. So you might find that uh, there's more arousal in your relationship or you might find that you and your partner are willing to go the extra mile in terms of connecting on a more spiritual level. So that's in terms of love and relationships. In terms of, of how people cope just generally, of how people are going to manage financially or with the world, I would in general, I would say that wherever you are in the world, um, not just Europe, but wherever you are in the world, you're going to be having quite a lot of change coming through. So there's quite a lot of shifting of the sands happening. It's like this, somebody's pulling out the carpet from underneath you. Things are not going to be the same. But having said that, what's going to happen is that there's going to be a lot more room for growth and development as an individual. Now, I would suggest the best way to deal with this kind of energy, I'm talking for the next six months or so, is to just buckle down and have faith and just go with it, you know, just be able to um, welcome whatever it's bringing to you. Don't get bogged down with complaining about it, with uh, feeling sorry for yourself for how difficult it is. It might be an actually quite a difficult energy for some people who are unwilling to give up some of their comforts, so unwilling to uh, understand a, a more a raw aspect of themselves. But what I have to say is that from an energetic point of view, the energy for the next six months looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. It looks like a new dawn and a new coming and a new like peeling away of something in this new dawn and just people able to liberate themselves spiritually and energetically. And the way that they do that is not by comforts and not by using technology, but rather by doing some hard work, you know, like they may need to till the ground, they may need to chop some wood, they they may need to do something that they wouldn't normally do. And you might find that if you are not somebody who works with your hands, that you'll find yourself working with your hands a lot in the next six months or so. Now, there's more to this energy that comes with this equinox. It's a kind of, as I said already, it's kind of like a release from the tension that's been building up over the last six months that has led us to this point. But there's also a sense of a greater love that can be accessed, a greater being and understanding that can be accessed. What I'm talking about here is a kind of wisdom that comes onto the planet, okay, or that's known to to many, but is not able to be embodied by as many. So it's kind of it kind of leaves people quite um, lost or stranded in a way. So you have these sages and these sadhus and these wise people that have a lot of knowledge and understanding of how to use this energy. But the common person is completely bewildered by it. And so what's happening with this time and this energy is that this information is going to become a lot more accessible to people. Now, you might say, well, it is accessible. You can go and read it and understand it. But it's not just about that. It's about actually feeling it in your being, like embodying it. And that's the best way I can describe it. Embodying it by all the cells in your being and just being being able to understand it. And so this huge capacity for love and talking about loving each other, loving the world, loving and respecting uh, and honoring each other, cherishing each other, is going to come and be available. And it's up to you to decide whether you're going to access that energy, whether you're going to go with it, or whether you're going to stick in the old paradigm and feel really weighed down by life. Feel very weighed down because your device is broken. Feel very weighed down because the price of gas or, or, or fuel or whatever. So it's up to you to decide you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to use? And so there's this ability to be able to see one another again in the namaste way, to be able to acknowledge one another in namaste, aloha. It's this, um, the Ubuntu spirit, you know, this way of connecting to each other again. And this is so powerful and so beautiful. But the only way to do this is if you yourself keep yourself clear and, and light. Okay. So that's got to do with the equinox. And that's the next um, six months. But let's just talk about what's happening right now 
that's within the next six months. So it started already. In fact, it's began, this energy has began already for the last two, three weeks. But um, let me just talk a bit about the new moon and what that brings. So I feel that for those of you who have been feeling stuck, so there's been a lot of movement, right? But, you know, with people moving, with people buying stuff, with people having babies, with people dying. And then there is also um, uh, the, those of you who are quite stuck and who, where things are not moving at all. Well, I feel that this new moon that we're having on Saturday is an ideal time to be able to harness this energy and to be able to set into motion things in your life so if you are one of those people feeling like you really want to do certain things you know what it is that you want to do but you just can't bring yourself to do it you just can't get yourself to break the habits that will allow you to form new habits to be able to do those things and get closer to your goals if you're one of those people well, lo and behold, this new moon is providing you with a fantastic opportunity to be able to harness this energy, to be able to ride on it and to be able to really speak and manifest exactly what it is that you desire on this new moon. And I would suggest that you work with the new moon and look at what time it is in your particular time zone and what influence it has and just work with that energy. Um, very often when I talk to clients or when I do energy forecasts, I'd say to people, you can work with that new moon energy or that full moon energy two days before and two days after, even up to three days after. And it's still quite powerful. But in this instance, I would say that on the new moon, on that day of the new moon and at that time of the new moon, if you could just ask and pray and visualize and manifest what it is that you'd like to have in your life, that you're going to find that there's going to be a lot of flow coming into your life and you're going to be swept up with that. So if you're feeling like you're standing on the on the bank of a river and you're just not being, you're not able to jump into the water and go with the flow, well, you're going to find that you're going to be swept away or you have the possibility to be swept away. Now, if you dig in your heels and you stay still, well, the universe will respect that and you will actually not be in in flow and in movement. But if you are yearning for flow and movement and you want to move ahead, then by all means, allow yourself to lower yourself into the flow and to be able to move with that and without resistance, okay? And that new moon energy on Saturday, um, Saturday in my um, time zone, this is going to be an ideal opportunity to be able to fuel that new beginning um, that you can embark upon. All right. Now, there's something else about that energy. Like if you've been feeling um, some old wounds that have come up in the last two weeks or so, where you've been perhaps needing to revisit things from your childhood or needing to revisit certain habits that you have or certain uh, behavior that you've uh, com had in the past and you've needed to just revisit that and face that. Well, you're going to find that this new moon is really, it's what's causing that. It's causing you to revisit things. It's causing you to, to really look at yourself and look at where you've come from and where you're heading to. It's asking you to be very clear about that because where you're heading to right now is going to be quite different from where you have come from. And if you hang on to something that you have been, you're going to find it much harder to move on, much harder to find the, the blessings of the universe and to, to just really go with that energy. Now, I don't often talk about the Mercury retrograde because I feel that there's so much of hype made up about it. But this is the one time where I feel that the hype that's created around Mercury retrograde, um, that's normally created around Mercury retrograde, is actually quite pertinent at this moment. And that energy, working with this new moon energy right now, is actually causing us to really revisit emotional um, blockages that we've had in the past, things that have held us back, certain behavior types that have held us back, and to be able to revisit that and, and just um, work through it. Now, working through it might not be the easiest thing, because if you've had a particular attitude or a behavior for all your life, and you know that you need to change it in order to prosper, but you're not able to change it, then what you're going to find is that it's going to be very hard for you to do that. But you need to be able to try. You need to be able to work 
uh, through it. You need to be able to look through it. And this Mercury retrograde is providing you with the basis to be able to do that. And this new moon in conjunction with that Mercury retrograde is helping you to to just flow, to just get on that uh, rhythm of energy and just go with it. You know, it's allowing you to float along with it. So definitely use that. And if you are a bit concerned about what has been coming up for you with this Mercury retrograde, just give a blessing, give thanks, give be gr- grateful for it and understand that it's there to show you where it is that you need to um create uh, some progress or to be able to improve something in your life and that is a, quite a general statement for all the mercury retrogrades but for now it's more pertinent than ever now for some of you you might not even feel this mercury retrograde and if you haven't well that's good because that means that you've been working through what you've needed to work through already and you are just in sync with the way that you need to be Okay, and I think that that is uh, wonderful. If you are in that state, then just enjoy it. Be just be cognizant of it and enjoy it. All right. So, uh, so that is my um, my forecast for or for this energy, uh, for this equinox, as well as for the um, new moon, and just mentioning briefly the Mercury retrograde. And I just want to say thank you to all of you for joining um, and for watching, and to for being there and I hope that you find this information helpful just want to say thanks again to all of you and um, I hope to uh, be posting more regularly from now on and, and with that I wish you all many many blessings blessings abound from Kismet Rising bye for now <laughs>